guys what is going on I'm coming back with another instant reaction video and today this instant reaction is on game two of the NBA finals obviously I mean you could tell by the title but yes the Cavs lost again but in case you're wondering of course I'm still riding with my Cavs in seven prediction I'm not one of those people that's gonna change up on it and change it and be like oh I was just kidding Warriors in five now no no Cavs in seven all the way until the finals are over I don't switch I don't switch okay so, keeping that prediction, don't worry about me. I'm still on, all in on that. But, yeah, the Cavs lost again. And this time, it wasn't as close. You know, LeBron, he didn't go off. He only had 29 points, which is weird to say he only had 29 points because, like, you usually don't say... When a player has 29 points, it's usually a good performance. But, you know, with LeBron, after he put up 51 last game, you're like, wow, he's only scored 29. But, um, yeah, he obviously didn't have a crazy 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 impact like he did last game I said crazy multiple times because he obviously still had a huge impact and kept them in the game but he just wasn't going off like he did in last game like historical go off like he did in last game so don't don't take that as I'm under emphasizing what LeBron did tonight so just yeah like chill out if you're like oh my god why is she like saying LeBron play bad no he just didn't play as good but yeah I know it's hard to score 51 points every night trust me not, I'm not saying he's gonna do that every night but yeah they just couldn't hit open shots. They had good looks and they couldn't hit them. Golden State was just literally hitting everything. Um, they got off to a really hard, hot start, Golden State did, and that's when I knew, ooh, this game might not be as close as last game because that first quarter, they were just on fire. Curry just seemed to be hitting everything all game. I mean, there was that shot when the shot clock was running out in the third or the fourth quarter. I'm forgetting now, but I was just like, oh, he's just going to keep this up. And somehow it went in. Somehow it went in. I mean, he was just hitting shots from crazy angles, crazy distance, <laughs> the last shot, not the last shot, one of the shots in the fourth quarter is crazy, uh, it was like a pass, uh, he got fouled, it's when Kevin Love fouled him, and he was just like on the floor, and the people sitting courtside were just like touching his arm, like, good job, I was like, that's kind of weird, but, um, yeah, that was, that was a sidebar there, I kind of went on a tangent there, but, yeah, the Cavs, their bench literally did nothing, couldn't really do anything. Um, Kevin Love had another decent game, so like I said last video, shout out to Kevin Love for doing something, yeah! I mean, not him specifically, I meant like shout out to a Cavs player for doing something besides LeBron, so yeah, shout out to Kevin Love. He's been having um, a solid final so far, underrated, underrated, like let's not forget about Kevin Love, I see, feel like everyone just hates on him, but he's been having a solid final, 20 plus points in each of these two games, so yeah, he had a double-double tonight, so shout out to Kevin Love, let me say that again underrated dude. Uh, Hill had a nice performance too. He had 15, I believe. Well, let me double check that because I don't want to be yelling out wrong things. Yeah, George Hill, 15 points. He had, he missed some shots though, some good shots, but again, again, a lot of cast players were missing a lot of good, good shots. Um, Clay Thompson played really well for having that ankle sprain. Um, that was impressive. He's putting up a lot of points too. Curry, obviously, like I said, had a spectacular game. Um, the refs, again, I, I don't want to like be that that person, but there are a few questionable calls, and just I don't I don't want to be like one of those people that's like, oh, the refs they thought they lost on the game because no, they, the refs didn't lose on the game. But yes, there were a few questionable calls. Again, I'm just gonna leave it at that. So. Uh, I guess the NBA will look into that, I don't know, but, um, yeah, I don't know what else I want to say, because these are instant reactions, I don't have any notes or anything, but, yeah, the Cavs are going home now, they have two at the land, so we'll see if that home crowd can help them out, we'll see if LeBron can put up 51 or more again, and that's just what's crazy, because for the Cavs to be in it, LeBron literally has to put up insane, insane, insane numbers. The bench literally doesn't do anything. I'm saying literally so much. I shouldn't, but um, it's it's not looking good for LeBron to stay in Cleveland. That's all I'm going to say. I, uh, I, don't, I don't think he's going to be there next season. I don't know where he's going to be, but I'm going to talk about that more after the finals. I feel like there was one more thing I wanted to say that I'm forgetting, but we'll see if the Cavs can pull out two at home. That would be amazing. That's really what they need to pull out two at home, but that's going to be tough. They can pull out one at home. That would be good. Oh yeah, I remember what I, I remembered what I wanted to say. Um, the game, the game, yes, the game, the basketball game. I'm talking about. Yeah, it's, it's late. It's instant reaction. I have nothing written down. It's literally just spewing off my tongue. Um, 
that was weird phrasing too. I've had weird phrasing in both these videos, so just 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 excuse that. But you know, it wasn't a huge blow until the end. The calves they stuck around the whole game. They pretty much stuck around. Um, that's good, I guess. You know, if you want to take a positive out of it for the calves, they stuck around. They did stick around until midway through the fourth quarter, and that's where things started to get out of hand. But they did stick around. They had it down to single digits lead, sing a single digit lead. I mean, they had the Warriors down to a single digit lead throughout the game. So, I mean, yes, there were some double digit leads for the Warriors, but then, you know, the Cavs would chop it back down. So, I guess that's a positive if you're a Cavaliers fan, if, that, if you want to take that out of this. Oh my god, I can't speak right now, but I know that, just, that literally just didn't make sense. But yeah, a positive if you're a Cavs fan to take out of this. That's what I meant to say. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I'm going to stop rambling and stuff and not making sense. Um, yeah, comment below what you thought of the game or comment anything else you want to comment below. Um, drop a like and subscribe. Peace out, guys.